Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today what I'm going to be talking about are tools that will help us change the way we design digital products. I've been designing for over 25 years and I've seen a lot of tools come and go. And the way that we produce things has changed as technology has evolved. When I started out, we were called web designers and we needed to know not only how to design, but how to code too. Over the years, as product design has become a more specialized industry, the tools that we use have completely changed. So most designers know a lot of theory, they know a lot of process, and they're very much stuck in design tools. But what they don't know is how to code. No code tools have been gaining ground. It means that designers are able to design what they like and the code is already produced for them. Obviously, front-end engineers are freaking out right now. But to me, I can only tell them that they should be able to use these tools and then be able to enhance them. There are many no-code tools out in the market from Webflow, Flutterflow, Bubble, and the one that I'm liking lately, Framer. More recently, Framer has been the tool that has caught my interest as it seems to have the ability to not only create basic layout, but it's got drag and drop features that I think most design tools should have in the first place. Over and above that, you can already animate and create transitions that would be really complicated for most front-end developers. Now on basic projects, Framer is an excellent tool and one I would highly recommend. But when you're getting into more complex builds, I want to be able to use Framer and export the code so that I can host it on my own server. Unfortunately, Framer doesn't allow this. So you're stuck using their hosting service, which locks you in, and it means you can't edit the code yourself. For big corporates, this is not an option. Things need to be hosted in the right place and connected to the right services. And while there are certainly a lot of services that integrate into Framer, there are some bespoke niche instances where you would want to be able to take away the code. Now for me, this is a simple fix. If Framer would go and have a pro version that would allow you to buy a license that would let you export the code, then Framer would be how I build all of my products. You see, when I used to code websites, I actually never used to design them. I designed them in code. I have the ability to see what I want to output, at least vaguely, and then go and code it up. And then I just go and tweak that code to make it act the way that I want it to act and look the way I want it to look. This for me gives you a much greater experience, especially with responsive layouts and with transitions and animations, which you can kind of do in Figma, but kind of not. I don't want to have to design a desktop tablet and mobile version. I want to just do one thing and then play around with those various versions as a working solution. A lot of designers are quite married to Figma and I do get the senior designers who've spent the last few years really throwing themselves into Figma, getting a little upset when I say to them that they should learn new tools and shouldn't be so married to Figma because unless Figma evolves, it's going to be a redundant tool. Why do you need to design a button when you can just drop a button into a layout and then just change the properties of it? I don't see the point in dragging out a rectangle, going and adding round corners, then doing multiple states, turning it into a component, using variables, all these other things that Figma offers, which are kind of brilliant, but they're not a finished item that you could export and use in your project. You have to go through even more steps. And so for me, it would be much easier if you had a tool like Framer that just drags an input field or a button or drop down or whatever it might be. And then it already has the responsiveness built into it. You just change some properties and then there you go. You've now got a working product that you can test on multiple devices and can send to a client and you can quite easily just plug in the APIs and the other databases that are required and you have functioning product. Of course, there's all the AI tools, but I'll leave that for another video. Building a functional product is the best way to see it come to life. 
Hopefully either Figma evolves into something more like Framer or Framer allows you the ability to export the code. How do you see the future of building digital products? My name is Craig Jamison. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment and stay cool.